Hi, Don Bailey here, and today we're going to. Uh, hey, Don. hey, what? What? We got we got a situation here. Oh, oh, Glenn, guys, you in the camera, Glenn? Whoa! My face is in it. <laughs> oh, come on in the camera, man. Anyway, what what are we supposed to do with this? The guys out here, they, they have a challenge for you. They they need fifteen thousand taken off of this. Wait a minute, you want fifteen thousand off this whole thing? Yes. This thing is curved, man. Exactly. And you want me to retain the curve and take the fifteen thousand yeah. off? Yeah. I figured out a wise guy like you would figure it out. You, th you think I could do it? Let's see. Do you know how to do it? Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. And you want me to maintain some kind of tolerance, like maybe within five thousands or something like that? Yeah. And keep the curve. I can do that. You can, huh? Yeah. You doubt me? Well, I want to see it. We're going to see it, man. <laughs> see proof Let's go proof. back there. I'm going to show you how to do it, dude. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot my safety glasses. You know, at one point I forgot to put them on. I got chastised for it. So from now on, I'm wearing it when I go in the men's room. I don't go anywhere without my glasses. In fact, I should have put them on before we started this. All right, let's go. So, Glenn, this was a challenge, right? Yes, it was. Take this curved piece and remove 15,000 from it, right? You know how. I'm going to show you how to do it, man. First of all, I want to show you what size it is. So let's see if you can zero in on that. It's 120 thousandths. Okay. All right. Now, here's how we're going to do it, dude. Vacuum chuck. Does it come with attachments? Of course. Well, some it does, yes. It comes with a relief and the pressure valve. Not the pump. That's optional. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on here. Hey, Jim, want to turn this pump on? There we go, we got it down good and flat. Now notice I've got it up against the back rail and up against the side rail. That'll give us some extra support. Is the rail lower? The rail's a little bit lower, that's correct. Okay. All right, so. Now I know that head is square. Because I have Glenn, I have a crisscross here. There on the back side. So I know this cutter head is absolutely square to the machine. It's a beautiful crisscross pattern. Which you wouldn't get unless the head was square. It does. Looking beautiful. It's working really well. What's that? It's working really well. Looking beautiful. PSI, what's well, about 10? I'm impressed. Okay. And you said it couldn't be done, right? Well, I've never seen it done. When we pull this baby out of here, you're going to get your curve back that you wanted. So this is how we retain the curve, using a vacuum chuck. 
which is an awesome way to do it. I don't know how you do it any other way, frankly. Now, you see that little imperfection right there? It's not much, but yeah. the chips itself got wrapped on the cutter, and that's what caused that. All the long strands? Yeah, but more importantly, look at that. Still have the curve. All right, we took we took ten thousandths off that cut, but look at this. It's even. We're at one twenty. We're at one ten. 113, 114, 113, and it, does, it just doesn't mark up the 111. Side now, does it? Nope. 111. Wow. So we're within a couple of thousands. Now, if we want to get this down to the 15,000 you want off there, I can put it back in and take another 5,000, or we can let it go at this. The point is, I was able to prove to you that we could remove some stock from this piece and still retain the curve. What do you think of that? It's awesome. Thanks for watching.